these two are kind of similar in that fashion. Yeah. Uh, you know, Finn, good at making you uh, drop a lot of um, dodges early, get blown up for it. Rain Dog makes you panic in those situations, dares you after. Uh, but still, I'm going to do a, a quick rundown, by the way, on all of you who have been uh, in the chat following me. Thank you so much. I saw House Arrest. Shout out to House Arrest. Mirror Man, Great Smug, Multipurpose, Marisop, Terry May, Chessboard, Viva Rojo, Kraken25, 3 a.m. The Sound, Dynuma. Dynuma, how have you not followed me yet up until this point? That's crazy. You were here all the time. Uh, <laughs> uh, Superman, Exploit Shaman, uh, Spit Glass, Tell Me, Total Evening, and Zeke of Productions. Those are the last one I missed. Thank you all for following me and joining us here in Grand Finals right now. Uh, it is time for the run back from earlier. Uh, I am still incredibly impressed with the way that Chavo adjusted because earlier today, uh, you know, Chavo winning on winner's final, uh, winner's side on winner semis. No, it was winner's final, excuse me. Um, he's lost the last two times they uh, fought in winner's side. And uh, taking that winner's side, I think it actually matters so much mm -hmm. because with the way Retro's been playing right now, you need, I think, at least one set worth of cushion because he just dominated that first stock and he, looked like, he looks like he's playing on fire. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful for that dare, though. <laughs> that dare is... Is really dangerous. It's it's it, that is like the make or break a rain dog. It's like they either dare you or they don't. But it's how often they get it is the most dangerous part. And he is continuing to build up that damage right now. He already has him at seventy six, and he is keeping it going. All right, missing the side air one though. Trying to find uh, if you do jump cancel uh, off a of side air one, especially a boot to speed, you can true combo that into up special. Uh, so that's going to be a big thing that Chavo's going to look for, of course, around these windows because it's pretty easy to land on Raid Dog compared to other characters. That being said, he can't even find an opening right now. The <laughs> Retro is keeping him out. Yeah, Retro's on fire right now. He's definitely got a momentum going too as well. Jeez. He tried to go for the charge side here to get a mix up on him, but uh, all these projectiles are just keeping him away. And he almost gets the punish on the teleport. He's been pretty easy. Retro's definitely one of the better players at punishing uh, gem teleports from Finns. But uh, just dodging through that dare, he's looking like he's about to go up two stocks in the lead. Yep, there it is again. Oh, the Alp Attack on the Tactic A is actually very important knowledge for uh, Retro 2 because if there's the main kill option for Chavo in this matchup usually is that Alp, Alp Attack because of how often uh, Rain Dog tries to get in with a Dare. So you have to make sure you keep that unstale. And now he's up two stocks to one. Gets the gem up, of course. That's going to force Chavo to have to go break that. That basically gets rid of uh, any like early stock push. But... um. Chavo, of course, he's been waiting a little bit to play. He's been on winner's side of grants for a little while. So uh, got, has to warm up a bit. But you got to warm up through a beatdown. This is actually pretty, <laughs> like, this is really strong for a retro start. Puts him straight to 68. Also, wow. excuse me, with the ignite damage also is going to keep it, keep it climbing. Rolling him back into the ignite as well again. Goes for the double. Actually, doesn't go for the double up here. Goes for the nair. Gets him oh, with the dare, nair. and he just strikes back with a full lead. I don't know what Chavo... I think Chavo's uh, like pointing at Twilight. <laughs> it's like you, like you allowed this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't deal with, I can't deal with these two. Like, <laughs> as you'll see, uh, there's not a lot. Like uh, amongst us here, you're not gonna see a lot of frustration. Uh, we're all friends. Uh, Retro, uh, you know, Retro's my cousin. Chavo's my roommate. Uh, and uh, you know, Sice and Daquan are cousins. We all know each other from Smash Ultimate side of things mostly. Uh, and, you know, we're all good friends around here. So it's going to be uh, a lot of laughs. But, of course, Chavo at least can laugh about that currently because he's up a set in winner side of Grants because you better figure something out because Retro <laughs> just steamrolled you. That was really good. <laughs> you know, more and more people have been calling Retro Rain Goat of late, and I'm starting to, like, believe it. Uh, <laughs> I've been kind of, I, like... I try to keep him humble, but it's kind of hard not to. Like, look at how clean his play just keeps improving. Like, remember early weeks where we saw Retro where it was like, okay, yeah. solid passive zoning. Would get to, like, top five or something and kind of be done. And then he went on a week, like, week's tear where he just does, he's always improving every single week. Yeah. And he's, the only thing he's missing is winning one of these. So, like, he's just missing it. It's like, from then, he was, he's, just, he's an entire different, entirely different player now. <laughs> Another level. Yeah, it's been so impressive to watch. Shout out to No Cash, who last week was able to come in here and uh, uh, finish the uh, New York invasion. New York uh, getting fourth and fifth last week. Uh, we had two defenders who held it down, Retro and Sage, but No Cash was the one who finished it out in an insane grand finals. I hope all y'all go back and watch that. Right now, during this grand finals, now, uh, Retro once again striking first. 
Yeah, he is built. Again, oh my yeah. god. He and he the way he keeps people in that firewall faded is actually crazy. Like he moves you into it and combos in, and then the damage just keeps growing. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he puts it out, just kind of brings you right back into it. Yeah. Also, something I'm noticing too is that earlier today, uh, w during winners finals. Uh, Chavo was finding a lot of gem tosses into up special reads on bad like jump decisions for retro. He hasn't found one yet so far. Uh, so he either he's not feeling confident in it, or he just doesn't like he's not finding it. But that's that up attack I was talking about before. It's the main knockout option for Finn usually in this matchup, and he's able to find it. Does he find the Darren Nair? No, he avoids it again. He's been avoiding that all day. Oh, he tried to mix him up. He figured he was going to dodge down there, but uh, Retro saw through it. He's like, no, I'm a good player. I know you're going to see that, so I'm going to go back up. Yeah, but offstage Chavo would definitely still respect his dare, though. <laughs> yeah, you have to. Oh, that dare, oh my goodness. Okay, he's avoiding getting spiked a ton. This is actually really impressive by the way that Retro has been avoiding that. But um, for Chavo, you know, all you need is just one good nair read offstage, and you're and you're going to get this knockout at 45. So he, uh, he's starting to find his way in. Yeah, but Retro is still trying to, like, offstage, trying to come up with the mix-ups with his projectiles, like, for timing and charging. Yeah. Uh, Retro's um, like, been impressing me nonstop with how he recovers around that. So many people get hit by that. And uh, going high with the gem, very smart, going around the dare, trying to mix him up. And he had to read on it, actually, with that side special, but he just, just a little bit a little bit too early. Yeah, he's, he got he's gotta use that gem quick now, because every time he has it out, it's just, <laughs> he just takes it out as soon as he brings it out. Yeah, it's almost instantly broken yep. too. And he's going to trade <laughs> off with it on that one. That's going to uh, let up the si line up for the dare. And uh, now Retro once again with another lead. Much closer compared to last time, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely looking a lot better here. It is still in this game too, holding this lead. Chavo refusing to go for any dodge reads on that up, uh, up special either. Like without with the minimum amount of coins he has in it, you don't want to burn those coins if you don't know it's going to knock out because you need those gems. Oh, again, keeping him in the ignite. It, <laughs> it just does. It just does so much damage. <laughs> like after the, the ignite afterwards, pushed him essentially to eighty. He finally goes for the read oh. and he gets punished for it. He knew that he wanted to go for it eventually, and <laughs> uh, dodging down, getting away from it, using the uh, up air and retro, definitely kind of removing the the frustration he had earlier from today, and now is up two games, trying to get a three zero reset here in grand finals. He just keeps racking that ignite damage. That's just adding up throughout the whole game. <laughs> hey, we're gonna keep running it back here to Trophy's Edge. Chavo, a big fan of this stage, of course. Uh, most of the time, of late, they've actually not been gentlemaning to the stage to start uh, because Retro just felt like it was too beneficial to Chavo because he kept losing here. Mm -hmm. But um, now, it, it, I just think he's just playing so well that it doesn't he doesn't care. Oh, he misses the dare near that. That, that's so important that Retro keeps avoiding that because that's normally how Chavo just kind of steamrolls this matchup. Like, whenever they fight, usually it's just finding really early stocks and then, boom, you're done. Mm -hmm. His recovery game has gotten so much better. Good dodge in, avoiding that Sare. Sare's going to come in, but it barely misses him. But still, Dare, Sare, Jab, trying to catch him, dodging in. He caught him with that earlier today, and he got, like, another 40-plus percent out of that. Side special, goes for the up air. That was a really good strength from Chavo, actually giving himself back in the lead. He goes Ooh. for the off special, misses out. Misses. Good dodge down from Retro. That could have easily been the first one. I think Chavo's starting to wake up. I see yeah. he slaps him in the face, <laughs> and he finally <laughs> finds himself in uh, a lead. Yeah, he's not even giving Retro really a chance to, like, set up with the Ignites or anything. Actually, even, even zone. <laughs> He's just on top of him with the pressure. Yeah, I think Chavo's starting to find, like, Chavo is, uh, I think, starting to remember what worked earlier today. It's starting to finally answer back. And uh, he had an attempt there, but I like the fact that, you know, you reset back to center stage because you use so many resources to try to go out there for that. If you go for another dare, that's going to be it. But now Chavo answering back two stocks up in the lead. This is why you can, like, they, I love watching these two fight. <laughs> like, they, like, like, every time you think something's over, it's not. The adjustments that they have are absurd. And double dare into down attack. Oh, oh triple wow, dare. Triple. I thought that don't work no more. Now he <laughs> put, he punished one of the one of the dodges, and um, Chavo just keeps finding new ways to extend these combos. He has the he has the availability to push. He has two stocks up, so he can't afford to do these things. But I've also seen Retro come back from these. So like you got to be very careful about how you decide to push. All right, Albert is gonna find it. I mean. Like we said, it, we've, we've seen Retro do crazier things. He can eat, like, it's it's by no means over, 
But that's the move that was using he was using a lot in Winners Finals 2, is that when he's up a stock, high five has a reflector attached to it. So you can run up on him if you read the, the projectile and punish him for it. Oh. That Nair went off so cooldown sad. is so big, <laughs> and it's going to rip him out of that, get him in the up air, and take him out off the top. That move is so good. Uh, it combos into Dare off stage. It's really good at disadvantage. Whenever a combo is not true, they will swing out of disadvantage to hit you for it. You actually have to back off if you know your combo is not true. If a Finn likes to Nair a lot, because they're probably going to hit you first, let them swing, then punish them after, especially if you have a projectile. But uh, in that position, yeah, I really can't do much about that. <laughs> <laughs> Java, was, Java was really putting a lot of pressure that round. Yeah, that was looking good. And also one of my favorite things about what I just uh, saw too is, you know, what we talk about before, no, we're not going to Scoobies. Okay, he accidentally clicked Scoobies. <laughs> uh, one of the things I, I'm enjoying is that um, sometimes when Retro loses a game like that and he's starting to like feel mentally like upset, you'll see it visibly in his face, but they're having fun right now. And uh, that's good because you can't let that game get to you. You were up to, you are doing good, and now his counterpick advantage is yours. However, this is, this is you know, it's risky because the projectile game is going to be good for Rain Dog, but also how do you keep Finn off of you? <laughs> he just, once he's inside, you gotta you kind of gotta just back away and get 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 back into that zone game. Yeah, no, like I mean, he's uh, Retro's been counterpicking the small maps all day. Like he's actually been he wants to fight. That's actually <laughs> that's actually like the only thing I have to explain it. Like he just he, wants to trade with him. <laughs> yeah, because of things like that, Saren to Dare is gonna line up that first stock. He likes these lower blast zones, like on Cromulons in here. So he is just he constantly wants to scrap. Gonna avoid the down attack, but oh oh. oh. Gets through with uh, that one, yeah. and hey, low blast on here. You ain't going to be able to shift around and get away from that. So even in the game up pretty quickly. Of course, this being entirely Finn's home field advantage. Uh, you know, Finn does love Batcave, and Chavo was able to beat him when he counterpicked there earlier. So I think that's part of why a Retro decided to maybe go here. It's like, look, Batcave didn't work out for me earlier when I counterpicked. Uh, so maybe Tree Fort. I'm still very curious because he did counterpick earlier against Harley here too. So I don't know what it is, but I think Retro is just like, look, y'all think I'm only going to zone? What if I just fight? Yeah. And it's kind of been working because he, if he gets you with the Sarah at the ledge, it could be a dare, and that could just end your stock. So I think that's part of what he's going for here. Just probably trying to mix it up more, just going inside. Yeah, it's been working a little bit. He has a lead. Almost gets him with the side special. Uh, of course, uh, gonna be, uh, Chavo getting out there with that Nair, but he missed the follow-up up air. And Chavo just attempting another dare, but he just runs straight <laughs> head on into that down air. I don't know if he had a plan behind it, but it didn't work. <laughs> Again with that ignite too, he's racking up damage. Yeah, well, I mean, Chavo doesn't mind. Like I, like I said before, he's gonna die to that uh, jab down attack, but Chavo actually literally doesn't care about fighting in it uh, because he's like, like I, I, I'm not gonna let him get free stage control. Like I'll take the ignite for the sake of trying to win neutral. That's the way he looks at it. But if you lose neutral, you're gonna take the damage. And in his view, it's like I'm gonna take the damage anyways, trying to camp that. So what if I just go fight it? Also, Chavo likes to hold forward, so that's that's also another thing. But he's gotten a lot better at playing the passive game when he needs to. Right, right now though, he's gonna have to figure it out ASAP because Retro has the lead. Nair doesn't lead it to a combo that he's looking for. Up attack, setting him up and getting hit by the projectile. And mm, Retro now can play that jump. slow game. I don't know how that one. I actually don't have an explain uh, explanation to that. That Nair just kicked him out of that side oh. special. That Dare won't be enough just yet. But Retro only one stock away from resetting the bracket here in Grants. Oh, he gets the reverse. Oh, oh, that was so close. That still won't be enough here on Tree Fort, though. That with, attack's not going to fall. Yeah, the dare. I, the, I, for a second, I thought it might do it because this is a lower blast zone. But that jab dare will definitely take it out now. Finn actually can't afford to take another dare. All right, well, the dare comes through, and this is Tree Fort. So <laughs> if he gets one good combo with Nair off stage, he could easily take this game away. This is not, un this is not impossible. This is absolutely doable, but he misses that. Yeah, Retro made a mistake and fell off stage, and Chavo tried to end it all right there with that Nair. You got to avoid that charge up attack, too, uh, from Rain Dog. Oh, but the Dare finally finds a mark, and Retro is going to reset the bracket, getting the W after what happened in Winner's Finals earlier, where Chavo was able to win 3-1, and he's going to be able to come back into this, force Chavo into the loser side with him, and now Retro, once again, on another week, doing his best to try and finally get that elusive Multiverses Mayhem victory. He has not won one yet.
He has been trying for weeks on weeks on weeks, getting into winner's side of grand finals and then losing. Will today finally be the day we're going to find out because we only got one more set to go. And already starting off the round with 25 damage quickly. That's mm -hmm. going to be 30 probably after the ignite. But um, Chavo put it to a bad spot, and that's oh. going to be a dare. Yeah, he tried to challenge him too much, and that's a free dare because he already used too many resources, and now he gets an early lead. Trying to fight his way back into this. It doesn't matter if that attack decay is on, uh, on that nair. Oh, that my God. That was a good read. That was so good. He used the fully charged up attack to chase him. He, if, if that was slightly lower, he was gone. That was actually crazy. See, these down attacks not hitting the second attack are actually, like, huge right now because uh, that's, like, the third time I've seen where the second hit of down attack didn't spike, and that could have possibly knocked out Retro. So Retro's kind of walking away with some of these re... Like, he's walking away in spots where he normally would be dead. I kind of like what he did there. Like, he went for jab and then set up the love leash mm -hmm. just to do passive damage because he knew he couldn't really, like, confirm off of that. Our special's Ooh. gonna miss! The last time he missed that, he uh, he died to the up special. Oh, Ooh. he just falls. All right, well, that SD, I don't know if that'll cost him because he's got 103 on him, but, I mean, you, the way we take those. <laughs> the Retro's constantly just breaking that gem faded. Like, I mean, he has 500 coins on, so he's been able to get, he's been able to use them a ton, but they're constantly breaking. Like, they, like I this is one of the most minimized games I've seen of Chavo having access to consistent gems, because usually, Chavo just kind of gets in with Gem for free. Uh, but he hasn't really been able to do that. Again, too, Chavo, you can see Chavo being more patient as well. I mean, you have to. Yeah. yeah like, like, especially after that early stock, like, you, your, your, your hand has been forced. But uh, he's almost gotten his even back up. Like, he, he's got him at 70. So the damage is done. Even if he loses the stock, he, he's put enough damage on him to possibly get a knockout on the next one. Retro just looking for that elusive dare, trying to find a combo into it, looking for a mistake. Up attacks is going to separate them with that nair, though. They're just kind of fighting around the fire. It's like, well, <laughs> I mean, the fire doesn't really mean much to me at this point. I'm at 175. Like, what's the what's the difference? Like, I'll go fight in that. Chavo just trying to get one of these fully charged, uh, like, neutral attacks, up air, uh, up attacks, anything to find the mark, but he's avoiding... The dares and the jabs from uh, from Retro. I am surprised that he went for a side air there. I expected that to be a dare because I think it would have hit. But Retro's dodges are just on point. <laughs> I have never seen Sair knock out by itself. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it took until 192 after the hit to finally knock out. I have literally never seen that move just knock out unless it was an edge guard. Oh, catches him making a mistake though. Good patience from Chavo and up attack. And that's what we said before. Last stock, the damage was done where he was so far behind that he was able to get him to knock out windows here on the last one. So now we have an actual even game. Yeah, again, freaking uh, just the patience and um, just capitalizing on just making one of the slightest mistakes. You can just literally have this whole, whole game just turn around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like trying to stay calm in positions like this is so difficult to do. And uh, but Especially on last stock. Yeah, I mean, especially with these both of these characters, because like Finn hits you once and you start getting scared that you might get comboed into a dare. Whereas Rain Dog, you constantly try to run in on and you get punished for it. But the th but with Finn, you know, you have that side special and you have the the slap, so you have two counter projectile options at least to beat that. But he's now taking a ton of damage. And look at Retro actually answering the Nair at a disadvantage. We said it before, you can kind of wait for it, but you can low profile it with that up attack and wait for him to go first. I'm surprised he didn't get hit by that projectile. He's going to be forced to have to go high, and Retro oh. reads it with the up air. Insanely close game number one right now. Like, this is, like... Oh, wait, 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 side air too. Oh, he had the platform in the way. If that platform wasn't there, he might have been able to continue to chase, but he knew that it wasn't worth it. Lovely, she's going to go ahead and put on a lot of passive damage. You kind of just have to accept it at this point. Uh, Chavo does find the mistake, though. Dare is going to find it, though, as he tries to find the opener with the neutral attack, and he takes <laughs> it out. And Ch uh, so Chavo's pointing up at the screen because the stream is on, so you can see the replay after. I think he thought that that was going to hit, uh, and it just, like, it, it would, it, I don't think it was close, but I think he thought it was going to hit, and uh, well, well done. Why does Tavo play Finn like a real character? <laughs> oh, my God. So, basically, against anybody not named uh, Retro, Pin, or Zoo around here, Chavo will use Finn like the monster that you know he is. But against everybody who knows how to actually fight Finn around here and deal with his approach game, 
he's forced to play literal neutral. Uh, and it, it's it becomes stressful over time, especially against a character like Rain Dog. And now Retro strikes first and puts himself in the set lead. Another thing too that uh, Travel capitalized on is once he gets uh, Retro off stage, he's just it's kind of hard for Retro to get back on. Yeah, I mean that's the biggest weak fight. Ooh, good charge there. Gonna try yeah. and mix it up, but he forced them to go low, and Retro just smartly just take that platform. Don't try to really engage. If you take one Sarah, it's fine. But if you try to challenge him, you take a dare, then you might end up getting knocked out. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> jab, dare, jab loops, so strong. Uh, just so quick to put on damage. And of course, you just keep sending him into that fire. So he takes the passive damage. Won't be enough to get the jab down there. Uh, down attack, excuse me, to get the knockout. But Retro Ooh. is constantly dodging past every single teleport opener up until that one. Uh, he's been very elusive on those. And they're scooping him from the, the bottom, of, like right on the stage, though. He couldn't find the big combo start he's looking for. I think that's the biggest thing, Faded, that's been so impressive as he finds that dare to get the first stock is that he's minimizing Chavo's damage. Like, mm -hmm. normally Chavo gets such big reward on hit, and he kind of just knows where to DI and get around his combos, so he just stops it. That up air just missing, though, as he tried to even it up. Oh, my God. Oof. That dare, oh. dare could have taken it. it like, yeah. That, that, that would have... Almost sealed the deal on uh, on this game too if uh, that happened, but Chavo uh, avoiding that retro just uh, looking to try and build on this lead. Yeah, but when Chavo uses those gems, um, retro's uh, reads are just really <laughs> another level. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's he's the only person who's consistently punishing it. Also, he, look at how he constantly punishes the jump in. He knows when he wants to, so he keeps going for these up attacks and swiftly punishing it. And now retro playing around these slaps. He's getting really aggressive right now, starting to chase him a ton, looking for these down airs. Uh, won't actually down attack. We'll find them, uh, the knockout off the top. Chavo just trying, he's trying so hard to like push off stage so he can get one of those really early combo like knockouts. And now he's going in. He's going like, he's pushing advantage hard now. And this, I think that's the thing that he's lacking right now against uh, Retro is that he hasn't been able to get that big advantage push he's been looking for. And uh, that's been kind of taking away a ton from him. He can't extend that combo though because that crystal is in the way. So he would have been smacked away. Again, he keeps having that ignite on him most of the time too, as well. Yeah, that pretty much that spot right there just belongs to him. Like Retro, <laughs> Retro could just stand on top of that because you got the fire and the and that in the way. So it's pretty much just you can't, you can't approach that because because you try to break it and Retro's just playing next to it. It's like good luck. That oh, dare's gonna there. find it. Yep. Answering right back. I uh, was surprised Retro, uh, Chavo decided not to go break it. Usually breaks that immediately, but um. Just trying to like push advantage, trying to, there you go. Sarah one does break it, but he's just trying to find that knockout right now. So he doesn't let this lead climb too far. Near up air still missing again. Uh, I mean, Tasmanian Trig I think Tasmanian Trigonometry is probably like the biggest key to this matchup right now. He is constantly getting away from Chavo's combo strings by just enough that it's been like preventing him from being able to close out any stocks. It's actually been pretty crazy. Finds the teleport in from that side special. Up attack's not going to find the mark. And now, look, like, look at Retro is starting to actually beat the slaps. That high five yeah. was such a big, like, thing for him in the first winner's final set. However, up attack finds it, but he's still already at 100 plus. Or about to hit 100. And Retro's actually, you know, you know, trading with him aerial. Like, with all aerials and stuff, too. He's just, he's, you think, like, Finn's aerial game would, like, you know, be dominant, but... <laughs> Retro's just keeping up. You with would it. think, but uh, you know, Chavo is like just constantly getting called yeah, out on his sure. jumps. And Retro yeah. now up 2 0. One more game away from getting his elusive W that, <laughs> that Multiverse has made him when he's been waiting for. I honestly don't know, by the way, if he'll even pop off. Because, like, he looks so calm right now. I feel like he'll want to, but. He's just playing so calm. I think that he's trying to like keep himself mentally composed because last time he got really close in the uh, in winners uh, in winners finals, uh, excuse me, grand finals uh, reset, he lost three one and then it went game five and Chavo won. But Retro, like you could see visibly, he was starting to let him do more things that he didn't want. And it looks like Retro right now is playing the most confident I've ever seen him play. And he, he, he this might be the day. It might be the day where he finally gets it. 
I mean, mental mental game is just it's just so important, <laughs> especially in a in, oh well Oof. that's a well that's a that's a way to strike back. Gonna go ahead and find himself the knockout off the top with the up special, and that puts him in a very early lead. Granted, though, Retro already putting him at 82, so he's uh, he's starting to answer back real fast. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see if he's able to stop this, because the biggest thing is you don't want to start seeing Chavo start to like warm up with this lead, because you know he's beaten you in this position before, so you need to make sure he doesn't. Uh, down attack coming through, gem down, oh, almost gets the dare. Good patience, not jumping up in front of the dare early, so uh, Retro doesn't get that spike. Yeah, see, I, 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 you could see it now. Look at the way Chavo is like waiting to look at when he up attacks. Because every other time he got punished by up attack when he jump in. And uh, I, I think Chavo's starting to slowly, it's taking a little bit, but he's starting to slowly adjust around the gem punish game from Retro. Yeah. A little bit late on that high five, though. That would have uh, slapped it away originally, but he got mistimed the fireball. Now the damage is racking up a lot here. That early stock kind of looming heavy. Not that Retro can't make comebacks from this situation. We've seen it happen quite a few times. But uh, Chavo looking... Solid. That dare will finally find its mark, though. But again, too, like uh, Retro has, you know, took it, taken early stock, so it can, it can go either way. Yeah, I mean, they, this is still very much possible for Retro to get a big combo off stage. I mean, look at that. He's, he's just Chavo's been trying to rush in to get an opener, and he's already put on 73. He's about to. He's getting <laughs> ever so close to even in this, uh, the damage right back up. And he is boxing him out, and he's he's even this game up. That's the thing with Fighting Rain Dog. You think a lead is in your favor, and then you get hit by 20 projectiles in a combo, and boom. <laughs> like, it's just right back in. Uh, Retro is going to fall, though. I think it's because he was trying to hold back and get a dare, and I think his KBI was off, and he got set directly up because that down air didn't kill that early a couple other times. So uh, Chavo gets a a, you know, a a gift, we'll say there. <laughs> uh, and now let's see if he can build on the lead because Retro has even the damage back up, and he's not far from evening up this game. Again, they're just both in the new playing a neutral game right now. Let's try Patience. to play, yeah. Try to play passive. Like yeah. don't, don't like, like you don't want to get too overextension happy because if you do, you're gonna open up a lot of combos for Chavo. I know you like you want that dare, but things like that can also. Ooh, that was a good mix up. That's not oh. normally his combo string. He went for that and he almost had a read on the dodge in too. But uh, Retro finally finds the dare. And Retro is sitting on his potential. Tournament win. He has not been able to get that tournament win yet, but he's got him up three stocks. Chavo trying to prevent this from happening. Currently having him at 70%. Very doable to find a knockout. Should be close. Retro trying to go full screen zoning right now. He has only apples available to him, so he can't use the gems. That's a big thing for Retro because you just basically need to make sure that Finn doesn't hit you. Keep his coins away, but the charge uh, up attack is going to help get a gem online. He has it. Goes for the teleport. Reads him. Gets the up air. Pushes him deep into the skies. He jumps away from that. Retro chasing him with the jab there, and he's starting to build up this damage, and Chavo having a hard time trying to box it out, but he has him at 92. He can still get a knockout, but jab there won't be enough yet. Yeah, again, uh, Chavo is keeping Ooh. up with a lot of this, uh, like, uh, neutral game, like, with the projectiles. But oh, and if Whoa. he gets him, he couldn't make it back. He couldn't get the gem toss out, and that is going to be it. And Retro, after trying so many other times, he finally <laughs> finds his very first Multiverses Mayhem dub. He has been it's multiple times in a week in a row where he went into fourth place, into third place, into, win into uh, second, and then he was on winner's side of uh, Grands, but he lost, so it was still improved. And then uh, there was the, the Stripe week that happened, so he got mm -hmm. third, but it was, everybody was playing Stripe that week, right? But still, doesn't matter. It uh, was consistent. And then New York comes out. He gets all the way up to third. Falls to no cash, but consistently doing well because he was able to take out two of the New York players along the way. And then finally, 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 finds himself that very elusive Multiverses Mayhem W is able to take it all here today. Took long enough, but it finally found it. And from loser side of Grands at that too, because yeah. last time was on winner side of Grands and he was able to get it. Yeah, he, but, worked, he worked really hard. Oh, I, I got to give uh, I gotta give chat. Oh, I forgot to do. Okay, so. Oops. <laughs> uh, I forgot I was supposed to do this again uh, during the um, uh, the beginning. Whenever a reset.